Aggrandize Khomota Prabhab Ibum Kati Bittikora To increase in power, influence, and reputation. If you are a window washer, but you refer to yourself as a Vista Enhancement Specialist, then you are aggrandizing your job title, that is, making it sound greater than it is. The verb aggrandize not only means to make appear greater, it can also be used to mean simply to make greater. If you buy an estate and sink millions of dollars into its improvement, then you are actually aggrandizing the estate. Usage examples. The supervisor sought to aggrandize herself by claiming that the achievements of her staff were actually her own. Synonym. Acclaim. Applaud. Augment. Boost. Commend. Dignify. Antonym. Abridge. Censure. Condemn. Condense. Contract. Criticize. Aggrandize equals AG plus grand plus eyes equals makes someone seem grander slash greater in others' eyes by raising power. Aggrandize. Komota Prabhap Ibum Kati Bittikora. To increase in power, influence, and reputation. Amalgamate. Misito Kora. To amalgamate is to combine different things to create something new. Institutions, such as banks, schools, or hospitals, often join forces and amalgamate with one another. But other things, like musical genres, get amalgamated as well. Synonym Admix Coalesce Consolidate Incorporate Integrate Meld Merge Mingle Unite. Antonym. Disconnect. Disjoin. Divide. Art. Separate. Anachronism. Ek juger bostu bekti ghatona ittadi ke bhul kure onno juger shonge joriye phela. An anachronism is something that doesn't fit its time period, like if you say you'll dial your smartphone. Anachronism comes from the Greek roots ana, which means against, and kron, which means time. Together they represent a situation in which something happens that should not because it belongs to another time period. You see anachronisms all the time in the movies, they occur when you see a jet fly over a civil war battle. Synonym Misplacement Prolepsis Solcism, Chronological Error, Metachronism, Mistake, Antony, Austere, Kothar Atto Shongjumi. The adjective austere is used to describe something or someone stern or without any decoration. You wouldn't want someone to describe you or your home as austere. To be austere, you learn to live without. It's all about self-denial. Synonym Abstinent Abstemious Ascetic Antonym Gluttonous Greedy Banal Gotanu Gotik Bosta Pocha Bohu Babrito Akushun Hin if something is boring and unoriginal, it's banal. Banal things are dull as dishwater. Ever notice how some TV shows, songs, and even phrases are boring and unoriginal? It's like you've seen or heard the same thing a million times. Anything that's unoriginal and dull is banal, a fancy word for things that bore you to tears. When you're writing, try not to be banal. Clichés and dull topics are banal. New ideas, fresh language, and unusual subject matter can keep your writing from being dreary and banal. 
Synonym Land Corny Dumb Hackneyed Mundane Stupid Trite Vapid Antonym Intelligent New Original Sharp Smart Uncommon Bombastic Shobda number puno To be bombastic is to be full of hot air, like a politician who makes grand promises and doesn't deliver. Bombastic evolved as an adjective to describe something or someone that is overly wordy, pompous, or pretentious, but the adjective is most often used to describe the language, speech or writing. Synonym Grandiose Histrionic Histrionical Rhapsodic Orient Antonym Humble Quiet Reserved Restrained Castigation Ninda Kota Shomalachana If your coach yells at your team for sloppy play, her post-game speech might be called a castigation. A castigation is a harsh verbal reprimand. No one likes to be on the receiving end of castigation. The word comes from the Latin castigus which means to make pure. Synonym Chastisement Discipline Penalty Reproof Retribution Scolding Antonym Award Forgiveness Pardon Reward Chicanery have you ever gotten the sense that politicians or corporate leaders will say anything to turn public opinion their way? This tricky kind of deceit and manipulation is called chicanery. Besides chicanery, another funny sounding word for trickery is shenanigans, whereas the former is always used in the singular and involves deceptive language. The latter is usually used in the plural and refers to the actions of a person. Your crazy neighbor is up to his old shenanigans if he has begun doing weird stuff again, but if a politician's chicanery is exposed, he will lose public trust and not be returned to office in the next election cycle. Synonym Dishonesty Duplicity Machination Stratagem Artifice Antonym Honesty Openness, truthfulness, forthrightness. Cogent. Pubal Okato, Onibarju Juralo. When you make a cogent argument, it means your argument is clear and persuasive. In these days of 24 hour entertainment news and sound bite sized explanations of complex government policy, it's hard to find a cogent argument amidst all the emotional outbursts. Cogent comes from a Latin word meaning to drive together, so cogent thinking is well organized, it hangs together. Synonym Compelling, convincing, forceful, persuasive, telling, weighty, apposite. Antonym Ineffective, unimportant, impotent, invalid, weak. Condone Komakora if you condone something, you allow it, approve of it, or at least can live with it. Things that are condoned are allowed, even if everyone isn't exactly thrilled about it. People often say, I don't condone what he did, but I understand it. Condoning is like excusing something. People seem to talk more about things they don't condone than things they do condone. Synonym Excuse Forget Forgive. Ignore. Wink at. Antonym. Regard. Respect. Veto. Censure. Condemn. Forbid. Prevent. Deference. Shaman Boshuta Shikar, Badhuta Maninewa. You wear ripped jeans to school every day, but you don't wear them to your grandmother's house out of deference to her. When you show deference to someone, you make a gesture of respect. 
The noun deference goes with the verb defer, which means to yield to someone's opinions or wishes out of respect for that person. If you and your dad disagree about the best route to the grocery store, you might defer to him and take his route. You're taking his route out of deference to his opinion and greater experience. Synonym Yielding Acquiescence Capitulation Complacence Condescension Docility Obeisance Submission Antonym Dishonor Disobedience Disregard Ignorance Impoliteness Non-compliance Diffidence Didha Obishash Shondeho The noun diffidence refers to a lack of self-confidence. Your diffidence might be the reason why you never say hi to the cute guy or gal in the elevator, or why you never ask for a raise. Diffidence comes from the Latin word diffidere, meaning to mistrust or to lack confidence. Diffidence is often mistaken for snootiness because people don't understand that the diffident person is shy and lacking in confidence. Synonym Backwardness Bashfulness Constraint Doubt Fear Hesitation Humility Insecurity Antonym Boldness Certainty Confidence Courage. Pride. Delete. Prosavito. To make larger. To expand. To dilate something is to make it wider. When the light fades, the pupil of your eye will dilate, meaning it looks bigger. The verb dilate comes from the Latin word dilatare, which means enlarge or spread out. When something stretches, expands, or becomes wider, it is said to dilate. Usually the word dilate is used when the opening of something circular becomes larger. When you enter a darkened room, the pupils of your eyes dilate to let in more light. Synonym Expound Amplify Augment Broaden Antonym Abbreviate Abridge Compress Condense. Sound like delay, so when you delay to repay your loan, it would become larger in amount. When I ate from dill se, more than enough, my stomach expanded. When your dill is eaten, ate, by someone, i.e. broken by someone. Delete. Prosavito. To make larger. To expand. Delete it. Pollobograhibekti. Someone with an amateurish and superficial interest in a topic. Though dilettante might sound like a nice French word, don't use it on your friend who thinks he can play the guitar after several short lessons. A dilettante is an amateur, often one who pretends to be very knowledgeable. A dilettante was a mere lover of art as opposed to one who did it professionally. Today, the word implies you're pretending to be more of an artist than you're interested in or capable of being. So if you call your friend who likes to paint a dilettante, it's like you're calling him or her a poser. Usage examples. Jerry's friends were such dilettantes that they seem to have new jobs and hobbies every week. Synonym. Green. Rookie. Tinderfoot. Artsy fartsy. Dabbling. Antonym. Professional. Dill, heart, plus e, hey, plus taunt sounds like anti. So when you are doing any work against your heart, you don't take it seriously. Delighted. Pollobograhibekti. Someone with an amateurish and superficial interest in a topic. Dirge. A dirge is a song of mourning, performed as a memorial to someone who's died. As you might imagine, a dirge is usually quite sad. 
Another word with a similar meaning that you might know is requiem. The noun dirge comes from the Latin dirige, which means direct, and is the beginning of a prayer that translates as direct my way in your sight, O Lord my God. Dirge can still have a religious meaning, but it can also be any sad and mournful song, poem, or hymn composed or performed in memory of someone who has died. Synonym Elegy Hymn Chant Coronac Disabuse Gulhalna ba mohteke muktokora Disabuse means to free someone of a belief that is not true. Many teachers of health find that when they teach, they spend as much energy disabusing kids of false beliefs as they do giving them the facts. Disabuse is often connected to the word notion or idea. In singing lessons, you must disabuse young singers of the idea that they can sing better by singing louder. In the first year of college, many people are disabused of the notion that their experiences are universal by meeting so many people who have had different experiences or come from different backgrounds. Synonym Debunk Disillusion Enlighten Correct Disenchant Disparate Bhinno Oshomo Bishodrish The trunk of some people's cars may contain items as disparate as old clothes, rotting food, and possibly a missing relative. Disparate things are very different from each other. The adjective disparate is from Latin disparatus, from dispare to separate, divide, from the prefix dis, apart, plus pair to prepare. Disparate in the sense of very different, probably developed by association with the Latin adjective dispar, unequal, different. Synonym Contrasting Discordant Dissimilar Distinct Divergent Devers Various Antonym Agreeing Alike Same Similar Uniform Equal Dogmatic Uddhatu Jukti Praman Betireke Upostapito To be dogmatic is to follow a set of rules no matter what. The rules might be religious, philosophical, or made up, but dogmatic people would never waver in their beliefs so don't even think of trying to change their minds. Dogmatic goes back to the Greek words dogma, which means basically what one thinks is true and dogmaticos, pertaining to doctrine. To be dogmatic is to follow a doctrine relating to morals and faith, a set of beliefs that is passed down and never questioned. It also refers to arrogant opinions based on unproven theories or even despite facts. Someone dogmatic might insist that dinosaurs never existed or that women shouldn't drive. Synonym Arbitrary Arrogant Assertive Emphatic Fanatical Intolerant Obstinate Stubborn Unequivocal Bigoted Antonym Ambiguous Equivocal Impartial Indefinite Vog Esoteric Shudumatu nitishto kichu manushe katse bodkomo gupto. Do you know the secret handshake? If you haven't been brought into the inner circle of those with special knowledge, esoteric things will remain a mystery to you. In the olden days, achieving esoteric knowledge meant getting initiated into the mystical arts and learning secrets unknown to regular folks. Now when a subject is called esoteric it's usually something not so mystical but still hard to penetrate. The opposite of esoteric is exoteric. According to one account, those who were deemed worthy to attend the Greek philosopher Aristotle's learned discussions were known as his esoterics, his confidants, while those who merely attended his popular evening lectures were called his exoterics. Since material that is geared toward a target audience is often not as easily comprehensible to outside observers, esoteric acquired an extended meaning of difficult to understand. Synonym Abstruse Arcane 
mystical, delphic, achromatic, capitalistic, antonym, familiar, noun, obvious, public, unmysterious, estimable, sauté, admirable. Something or someone estimable is worthy of respect and admiration. Many U.S. presidents might be described as estimable, though it depends on who you ask. This is a word for people who deserve respect. A hard-working scholar who has written several books might be estimable. Things can be estimable, too. You might describe an impressive book, restaurant, or film as estimable. Usage examples. Most people consider it estimable that Mother Teresa spent her life helping the poor of India. Synonym Esteemed Praiseworthy Admirable Admired Appreciable August Antonym Dishonorable Inestimable Insignificant Poor Unworthy Estimable slash esteem equals great respect. Just think in olden days, if anyone goes in Ford Esteem car, they will be respected since they are rich and helps others. Estimable, sauté, admirable. Fluid, autodic shudzito ba olongkrito, excessively decorated or embellished. Something that's elaborate and full of extra flourishes is florid. Whether it's your relative's ornate decorating style, or the way they talk, using a lot of unnecessarily long, complicated words. You can probably guess how Florida and Flourish are related. Something overly decorated, such as a fussy living room, is flurried in the flowery sense, while pale-skinned people with rosy cheeks are flurried because they appear to be flourishing with good health. Usage examples. The palace had been decorated in a florid style, every surface had been carved and gilded. Synonym Baroque Decorative Flamboyant Ornate Sonorous Antonym Plain Inelaborate Natural Pale Pallid Undecorated Something that is florid has the brightness of a flower. If your cheeks feel torrid, your face might look florid. Florida is florid with tropical flowers. Florid, autodic shudzito ba olongkrito, excessively decorated or embellished. It's agency. Jorudi abusta. The meaning of exigency is obvious from its source, the Latin noun exigentia, which means urgency, and comes from the verb exigere meaning to demand or require. An emergency situation, or exigency, is urgent and demands immediate action. Think of a mix of excitement and emergency, and you have exigency, a sudden, urgent crisis. The very word conjures up danger and intrigue that demand a cool head and an immediate effort at a solution. Our lives are filled with exigencies, both large and small from a child stuck in a tree to lightning striking your house to catastrophic river flooding. Each is an exigency, it's all a matter of perspective. Synonym Contingency Vicissitude Acuteness Constraint Crisis Foment Prorochitokora Try to stir up, instigate. Stand outside the school cafeteria passing out flyers with nutritional details on school food, and you may ferment a revolution. Ferment means stirring up something undesirable, such as trouble. You would never say, hooray, we fermented a revolution. Instead you'd say, those good-for-nothing scalawags fermented the rebellion. Don't confuse ferment and ferment. Ferment can mean to stir up in a good way. A football game can ferment excitement in a town or ferment trouble through traffic tie-ups and litter. 
The easiest way to remember the meaning of ferment is to relate it to foam. Now foam starts to appear in soapy water when you start to stir up things. Foment. Porotito kora. Try to stir up and stick it. Synonym. Abet. Arouse. Brew. Inside. Whip up. Antonym. Deter. Discourage. Calm. Conclude. Condemn. Ferment is a verb. It means to promote the growth or development of. Fermenter is a noun. Who ferment a rebellion? Guile, protaruna, deceit or trickery. Use the noun guile for cunning, craftiness, and artful duplicity. Acting like you have a job on Wall Street when you're actually unemployed would take a lot of guile. The noun guile has quite negative connotations, as it refers to the kind of knowledge and skill that can be used by comic book villains for evil and not good. People who have guile are also thought of as being wily, which is also a related word, sneaky, and deceitful. Usage examples. Since he was not fast enough to catch the roadrunner on foot, the coyote resorted to guile in an effort to trap his enemy. Synonym. Trickery. Artfulness. Artifice. Chicanery. Craft. Craftiness. Antonym. Forthrightness. Frankness. Honesty. Honor. Openness. Sincerity. Vile and guile are rhyming words and they mean treacherous, evil. Vile and guile are rhyming words and they mean treacherous, evil. Guile, protaruna, deceit or trickery. Iconoclast. Ortho. Lalito dharuna ba protishthen ke akromon kore amon keo. Protulito dhan dharuna chunno kari. Someone who attacks cherished ideas or institutions. Iconoclast is a noun. Are you always challenging the establishment? Or provoking popular thought by attacking traditions and institutions? Then you're definitely an iconoclast. To be called an iconoclast today is usually kind of cool. They are rugged individualists, bold thinkers, who don't give a hoot what tradition calls for. But back in medieval Greece, the iconoclasts had a more thuggish reputation. Stemming from the Greek words icon, meaning image, and clasts, meaning breaker, an iconoclast was someone who destroyed religious sculptures and paintings. Memory aid to help you memeize this. Icon equals idol. Clash equals fragments. So, one who destroys idols into pieces is iconoclast. Iconoclast. Ortho. Lalito dharana ba protishthen ke akromon kore amon keo. Protulito dhan dharana chunno kari. Someone who attacks cherished ideas or institutions. Synonym. Critic. Cynic, dissenter, dissident, heretic, radical, rebel, denouncer, antonym, believer. Dave Soldier is an iconoclast, trying to expand our idea of what music can be. Iconoclast. Ortho. Lalito dharana ba protishthen ke akromon kore amon keo. Protulito dhan dharana chunno kari. Someone who attacks cherished ideas or institutions. Enjoyed. Shamproti shuru hoyeche, prathomik. Recently begun, rudimentary, elementary. Inchoate is an adjective. Noun form is inchoateness. Inchoate means just beginning to form. You can have an inchoate idea, like the earliest flickers of images for your masterpiece, or an inchoate feeling, 
like your inchoate sense of annoyance toward your sister's new talking parrot. Inchoate comes from a Latin word for beginning. When something is inchoate, although you don't yet understand what it is fully, you have a strong sense that it is indeed coming. It's stronger than the wisp of an idea that never turns into anything. But it's hard to really find the language to describe an inchoate idea. That's the whole point, you don't have the words for it yet. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Inchoate equals inch plus o plus eight, it is only inch in length, but it will spoil your shape if you ate it. It will make you grow to a large size. Inchoate. Shampati shuru hoyeche, prathomik. Recently begun, rudimentary, elementary. Inimical, prutikul, shutrutapuno, hostile, unfriendly. Censorship is inimical to freedom. So, most teenagers would argue, are curfews. To be inimical is to be harmful, antagonistic, or opposed to something. Inimical comes from the Latin word inimicus, meaning enemy. It suggests acting like someone's enemy, being adverse, damaging, or downright hostile. It can refer to anything from emotions and actions to public policy. Usage examples. Even though the children had grown up together, they were inimical to each other at school. Synonym. Adverse. Destructive. Harmful. Hostile. Injurious. Opposed. Unfavorable. Unfriendly. Antonym. Aiding. Assisting. Favorable. Friendly. Enemy equals enemy, and enemies cause damage. So inimical means something damaging. Inimical equals enemy, sounds like enemy, plus cal, enemies are hostile and of course UNFRIENDLY. Inimical, protikul, shutrutapuno, hostile, unfriendly. Insetted. Shadir alhab, nistiz. Lacking flavor. Dull. Insipid is adjective. Noun form is insipidity. Adverb form is insipidly. Something insipid is lacking in flavor or interest. You'll probably find the generic poems inside of greeting cards insipid. Insipid comes from the Latin insipidus, the opposite of sapidus, which means flavorful. Because spices and salts are left out, hospital food is usually considered insipid. The most common use of the word is in a metaphorical sense for dull or flat. You might think that your goody two-shoes cousin is the most insipid girl you've ever met. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Suppose you go to a party. Now in that party, you are not allowed to sip any drink. No drinks allowed. No soda, no beer. Sorry. Just imagine how dull and lifeless that party would be. The sip in insipid should remind you of such a party. Insipid. Shadir alhab, nistiz. Lacking flavor, dull. Intransigence. Kuno aps puttakan jid amanno. Refusal of any compromise, stubbornness. Intransigence is noun. If you refuse to compromise with your sister about whose turn it is to do the dishes, your mother might accuse you both of intransigence. Intransigence is a stubborn refusal to change your views. Inside of intransigence, you see the Latin transigere, which means to come to an understanding. People who show intransigence refuse to do this. Nations are often accused of intransigence when they refuse to comply with international standards or will. Intransigence. Kuno aps puttakan jid amanno. Refusal of any compromise, stubbornness. Luminous, ujjol, diktimian, bright, brilliant, glowing. 
Luminous means full of or giving off light. During the winter holidays, with all their emphasis on light, you can see luminous displays of candles everywhere. This word has several figurative meanings that are related to the basic sense of something shining. For example, luminous prose is clear and easily understood. And a luminous career is bright and inspiring. The Middle English adjective is from Latin luminosus, from lumen light. Usage examples. The park was bathed in luminous sunshine, which warmed the bodies and the souls of the visitors. Synonym. Brilliant. Incandescent, lucid, lustrous, radiant, shining, translucent, vivid. Antonym Cloudy, dark, dim, dull. Numinous seems like luminous, which is bright, and numinous is divine. Luminous, ujol, dictimian, bright, brilliant, glowing. Malinure. Jibikti Oshustuba Ahutu Hoa Bhakuri. A person who pretends to be ill or injured. Knowing that the prefix now is from the Latin for bad, we can tell right off that being a malingerer is not a good thing. This noun form of the verb malinger comes from the French malinger, which means sickly. Have you ever pretended to be sick or hurt to get out of taking a test or doing a chore? Then you, my dear, are a malingerer and should be ashamed of yourself. Shape up. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Linga is to hang around, malinga is to skulk and hang around, and malingerer is one who skulks and hangs around. Malinger. Zibikti oshustoba ahuto hoar bhankore. A person who pretends to be ill or injured. Molothi. Karurat ba uddik shanto kora ba prushmito kora. To calm or soothe someone's anger or anxiety. Mollify comes from the Latin maleficare, to make soft, and that's still at the heart of the word. When you mollify someone, you smooth things over, even if you're maybe still a little mad. To mollify is to calm someone down, talk them off the ledge, make amends, maybe even apologize. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Mollify, muli plus fry, by frying muli radish it becomes soft. By frying anything hard vegetables tend to get soft. Mollify. Karulad ba uddik shanto kora ba prushumito kora. To calm or soothe someone's anger or anxiety. Obsequious. Ortho. Chatukar. Vito da studio. Koshamude. Lavishly attentive, servile, sycophantic. Obsequious people are usually not being genuine. They resort to flattery and other funny ways to stay in the good graces of authority figures. An obsequious person can be called a bootlicker, a brownoser, or a toady. If you disapprove of the overly submissive way someone is acting, like the teacher's pet or a celebrity's assistant, call them by the formal adjective obsequious. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Obsequious, obey sequence of work in an office, obedience, dutiful. Sounds like obedience. So, obsequious obedient servants. Obsequious. Ortho. Chatukar. Vito da stullo. Kosha mude. Lavishly attentive, servile, sycophantic. Occlude. Ortho bondo kore dewa, ontor tharun kora. Shut. Close. A clue does not exist only in a medical context. If you close the bathroom door so your little brother won't come in while you're trying out makeup with your friends, you're occluding the bathroom. Meanwhile, your makeup occludes your pores. You hear this a lot in a medical context. Heart surgeons are looking for occlusions in blood vessels things that occlude the flow of blood. 
memory aid to help you memorize this. When you include someone, they are welcome and the gates are always open, but when you occlude, rhymes with exclude, they are unwelcome, and hence the gates are shut or closed on them. Occlude sounds like conclude. Occlude. Ortu bondu kuredewa, ondu tarun kora. Shut. Close. Ortu ninda, opuman glani. Infamy, something that brings disgrace. Opprobrium derives from the Latin verb opprobrer, which means to reproach. That verb, in turn, came from the noun probrum, meaning disgraceful act or reproach. The adjective form of opprobrium is opprobrious, which in English means scurrilous or infamous. One might commit an opprobrious crime or be berated with opprobrious language. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Sounds similar to approbation, which is an expression of praise. Opprobrium is the opposite, disgrace, contempt, scorn. Split word like this opprobrium, if you rob opium then you will be criticized. Opprobrium. Ortoninda, opuman glani. Infamy something that brings disgrace. Hell again. Ortho utkoshir adosho. Shampunotar adosho. Model of perfection. A paragon means someone or something that is the very best. The English noun paragon comes from the Italian word paragon, which is a touchstone, a black stone that is used to tell the quality of gold. Paragon applies to someone who is a model of perfection in some quality or trait. We link paragon with other words that follow it, such as paragon of virtue or paragon of patience. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Paragon which is a slipper brand makes products that are models for perfection. All paragon equals Aragon. Aragon in the movie Lord of the Rings was a perfect soldier. Paragon. Ortho Utkoshir Adosho Shampunotar Adosho Model of Perfection Perfunctory Ortho Punkanu Punkonoi Agroher Abhab Superficial, not thorough, lacking interest, care, or enthusiasm Perfunctory is from Latin perfunctus, from perfungi, to get through with, perform, formed from the Latin prefix per dash, completely, plus fungi, to perform. A person who does something in a perfunctory way shows little enthusiasm or interest in what they are doing. Many of our everyday greetings are perfunctory. For example, when we say hello and how are you, we usually do so out of habit. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Perfunctory means done routinely and with little interest. So one may associate this with perfunctory. Imagine a jaded factory worker stuck in their routine with very little interest in their work. Perfunctory. Artu punkanu punkonai, agroher abhab. Superficial, not thorough, lacking interest, care, or enthusiasm. Kapiti artu. Tushto kora. Apis. 
you forgot flowers on your grandma's birthday, you can still propitiate her by sending a bouquet the next day. Propitiate means to appease someone or make them happy by doing a particular thing. Handy strategy for lovers, too. One of the most common uses of propitiate historically was in the sense of appeasing the gods, often with a gift in the form of an animal or human sacrifice. Fortunately, for most people today flowers and candy will do the trick. But then again, some moms can be tough to appease. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Propitiate, pro plus pi tai plus eight. Look at the first two. They sound like pro, for, pi tai, pity. That is for pity. Thus if you are for pity, you are certainly willing to make peace and allow pardon to be granted. You are pro peace or for peace. Propiti ortho. Tushtokora. A peace. Quiescent ortho. Shanto nishchol. At rest, dormant, temporarily inactive. The adjective quiescent means being quiet and still like the quiescent moments lying in a hammock on a beautiful summer Sunday. To be quiescent, pronounced Q-W-H-Y-S-S-N-T, is to be quiet, resting, which is exactly follow its Latin origin quiescence means quiet. It has a second meaning, causing no symptoms. If a disease is quiescent, you probably won't know you have it. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Quiz, quite, plus sent. Leave the second part. So, someone who is quiet for a period of time is quiescent. Quiescent equals quiet plus descent. Quiescent orto. Shanto nishchol. At rest, dormant, temporarily inactive. Repudiate orto. Shikar korte, onumodon korte ba boito hishabe shikriti dite o shikar kora. Disarm, disavow, refuse to acknowledge, ratify, or recognize as valid. To repudiate something is to reject it, or to refuse to accept or support it. If you grow up religious, but repudiate all organized religion as an adult, you might start spending holidays at the movies, or just going to work. This verb usually refers to rejecting something that has authority, such as a legal contract, doctrine, or claim. In connection with debts or other obligations, repudiate is used in a specialized sense, to refuse to recognize or pay. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Repud, think refused, plus I-A-T-E, think I had enough, refuse to take or acknowledge anymore. Repudiate orto. Shikar korte, unumodon korte ba boito hishabe shikriti dite o shikar kora. Disarm, disavow, refuse to acknowledge, ratify, or recognize as valid. Soporific orto. Ghum porochit kore. Inducing sleep, marked by sleepiness. Something that is soporific is sleep inducing. Certain medicines, but also extreme coziness, can have a soporific effect. In the 1680s, soporific, which doubles as both adjective and noun, was formed from the French soporifique. That word, in turn, came from the Latin sopper, deep sleep. Memory aid to help you memorize. Soporific sounds like so far risky, so this soporific is so far risky. I'm too scared to take it. Soporific orto. Ghum porochit kore. Inducing sleep, marked by sleepiness. Specious orto. Bishash joko kintu mitta. Seemingly reasonable but incorrect. Plausible but false. 
Use specious to describe an argument that seems to be good, correct, or logical, but is not so. We live on the Earth, therefore the Earth must be the center of the universe has been proven to be a specious theory of the solar system. Something that is specious is attractive in a deceptive way, and if you follow the word's etymology. In Middle English, this adjective meant attractive, from Latin speciesis, showy, beautiful, from species appearance, kind, sort. Latin species is also the source of English species. Memory aid to help you memorize. Species equals speech is, means it is true only in speech or words, but not in reality. Specious auto. Bishesh jo gokin to mitha. Seemingly reasonable but incorrect. Plausible but false. Stigma auto. Opuman baku kati pruti. Token of disgrace, a symbol of disgrace or infamy. If something has a negative association attached to it, call this a stigma. Bedwetting can lead to a social stigma for a six-year-old, while chewing tobacco might have the same effect for a 60-year-old. Stigma, from the Greek word of the same spelling meaning mark, puncture, came into English through Latin to mean a mark burned into the skin to signify disgrace. Stigma soon started to be used figuratively for the negative stereotype or reputation attached to something. Memory aid to help you memorize the word. Stigma equals stick plus ma. Imagine someone hitting his ma, mother, with a stick. How disgraceful it will be. Or, stigma equals sounds like enigma is always disgraceful. Stigma orto. Opuman baku kati putik. Token of disgrace, a symbol of disgrace or infamy. Stolid orto. Shaman no abeg bashong bidon shilotataka bapukashkora, obichulito hableshin. Having or revealing little emotion or sensibility, calm, dependable. A stolid person can't be moved to smile or show much sign of life, in much the same way as something solid, like a giant boulder, is immovable. Both are expressionless. It's hard to get excited about the word stolid. It refers to emotionless people or things, and it even sounds pretty dull. Your face may be stolid, as you plod through the unemotional history of the word born in the 17th century of little more than Latin words for foolish. Memory A. Stolid is solid as a rock. Stolid keeps a lid on their emotions. Stolid Arto. Shaman no abeg bashong bidon shilotataka bapukashkola, obichulito hableshin. Having or revealing little emotion or sensibility, calm, dependable. Taciturn, Alpobhashi, Mitubhashi, Mono Shobhab, reserved or quiet by nature. Someone who is taciturn is reserved, not loud and talkative. The word itself refers to the trait of reticence, of seeming aloof and uncommunicative. A taciturn person might be snobby, naturally quiet, or just shy. Having its origin in the Latin tacitus, silent, taciturn came to be used in mid-18th century English in the sense habitually silent. Taciturnity is often considered a negative trait as it suggests someone uncommunicative and too quiet. Synonym Aloof Dour Laconic Reticent Antonym Communicative Fluent Talkative Wordy Memory aid to help you remember Meaning of tacit equals silent 
So, meaning of tacit plus earn equals taciturn equals silent person, untalkative. Taciturn, Alpobhashi, Mitubhashi, Mono Shobhab, reserved or quiet by nature. Torpor, Oloshuta, Shukto Obusta, Manoshi Pabe Nishpi Obusta. Lethargy, sluggishness, dormancy, a state of motor and mental inactivity. Torpor is a state of mental and physical inactivity. After a huge Thanksgiving meal, my family members fall into a torpor, no one can even pick up the TV remote. Topo can be used in everyday speech, but it's also a scientific term for a state of deep sleep that allows animals to conserve energy. Certain species of bats, birds, and frogs rely on topo for survival during tough times. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Tor tortoise, which means slow. But be careful about torpedo, which means the exact opposite. Synonyms Apathy Disinterest Dormancy Drowsiness Dullness Idleness Impassivity Inaction Antonyms Action Consciousness Diligence. Industry. Torpor. Oloshuta, shukto obusta, manoshi pabe nishpi obusta. Lethargy, sluggishness, dormancy, a state of motor and mental inactivity. Voracious. Obhashukoto habe shukto kotabola. Truthful, habitually speaking the truth. Someone who is voracious speaks the truth, like your brutally honest friend who always lets you know what she thinks about your outfits, your hairstyle, your lasagna recipe, and your taste in movies. Think of a voracious person as someone who is like a witness under oath in a court of law. Someone who speaks the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Don't ask a question of a voracious friend unless you really want to know the answer. Memory aid to help you memorize this. Remember, voracious equals verify. If you can verify something, then it is voracious, truthful. Voracious. Obhashugoto habe shutto kotabola. Truthful, habitually speaking the truth. Synonym. Accurate. Credible. Dependable. Direct. Ethical. False. Untrue. Voracious. Obhashugoto habe shutto kotabola. Truthful, habitually speaking the truth.